Hey everybody, short disclaimer before I start the actual video. Um, in this video, I'm talking about a uh, block or building blockchain applications that don't currently exist. So this might not make sense unless you have quite a lot of knowledge about blockchains themselves. Um, this is more designed actually to be listened to or to be watched by a coin developer, by somebody who can actually, you know, program and, uh, you know, code their own blockchain. I can't do that. Um, so just so you know, anyone who watches this that can actually program or code their own blockchain, you know, the way I speak might sound stupid at some points because I'm just telling you from the perspective of someone who needs a blockchain to fulfill my own personal entrepreneurial ventures and then this blockchain doesn't exist so I'm trying to explain to you guys how to create a blockchain for it and this blockchain doesn't only work for the product that I'm showing you today it works for a bunch of other products uh, specifically the blockchain I'm showing you works for the artistic industries which is you know that's there's hundreds of billions of dollars in those industries so this is a massive market that the blockchain can completely uh, redefine and rework and uh, I really hope that somebody does in the future but again this might not necessarily be the best video just for your average crypto user but anyways let's go ahead and get that video started hey everybody it's Cawthorn Man here and I'm bringing you guys a video today I'm talking about blockchain applications again I made a short video on this before when I was talking about uh, how I need trading cards developed and how I would use a blockchain to develop those uh, this one I'm gonna go into a lot more depth to show you really the scope of how blockchains can so completely revolutionize this industry um, a lot of people when they talk about blockchains are like it's gonna revolutionize finance and you know supply chain stuff and you know things with the Internet of Things I mean, it'll have something to do with that, but I honestly think that's a small potatoes as far as blockchain applications go. Um, if I were to talk about blockchain applications and what they're going to revolutionize, and this is because this is an industry that I'm currently... I guess you'd say involved in. I'm a writer, um, but uh, the arts can get completely reworked by blockchain technology. Like it's insane how much uh, the arts can get reworked by blockchain technology. And by the arts, I just mean anything that has to do with film, anything that has to do with music, anything that has to do with writing. You know, the creation of books, anything like that. So these are you know massive industries hundreds of billions of dollars uh, like in these industries already and they're gonna get completely reworked by blockchain apps and uh, again everyone talks about blockchain apps that basically for financials like internet of things different shit like that and yeah it can work there but I don't even really like the internet of things I think is way overhyped it's like oh you can connect your toaster to the internet well why the fuck would I want to do that you know <laughs> I mean I know there is some uh, there is some use for that or things like that but if you gotta understand about new technologies if they don't you know if they're not more efficient if they don't create some sort of e new efficiency in your life you're not going to use them and the one thing about the arts like the art the artistic industries they are super inefficient like it's retarded how hard it is to get uh, into the art um, industries like whether it's you're trying to get into film writing you know music basically nobody does and everybody tries to so there's a lot of inefficiency there and blockchain can completely clear this up so you know again all I'm saying here is that blockchain applications they don't currently exist uh, a lot of people like all the new blockchain like a lot of people create blockchain application platforms uh, but you don't need a platform to have blockchain applications so if you again we talked about the dot-com bubble recently so the dot-com bubble when it came out it wasn't like all these new companies came out with applications and then they were trying to create their own internet you know um, all these cryptocurrencies uh, all these ones that uh, label themselves as a platform for blockchain applications they always link themselves specifically with one cryptocurrency or create their own cryptocurrency and uh, this makes no sense to me whatsoever um, so yeah, again, if you go back to this, why, like, Amazon, they just use the, they use the internet and what they do, but almost everything that Amazon does, like, is outside of the sphere of the internet. So, like, one of the biggest companies to come out of the dot-com bubble, I guess, one of the ones to survive, yes, it used the internet, but the internet is a very small part of what it did. Basically, how Amazon got its start was it allowed people to buy and sell books through the internet so if you ever tried to buy and sell books before the internet like that sh that shit was hard you could spend years looking for books and spend hundreds of dollars 
you know, and then you might, I don't know. It just wasn't, it was not good. So when Amazon came out, it completely revolution, revolutionized that. But again, they did not build a new internet for Amazon. They just built on what already existed. So these app, these applications, these blockchain applications should stand alone. Yes, they will probably need a cryptocurrency, but you don't have to create a cryptocurrency for these blockchain applications. And so whenever I see any one of these uh new cryptocurrencies come out talking about how it's a blockchain application platform i just think it's dog shit because they don't need to create a cryptocurrency with their blockchain application platform so they should just create the blockchain applications you know that's all they need um, and if they were real serious about their blockchain applications if they were serious entrepreneurs that's what they would do but they don't so that's why i don't like things like arc or ethereum or neo or anything like that i don't well Walton chain. I don't care what it is. I don't know why. Like I don't know why they don't make these applications stand alone. They could do it, but they aren't. Um, and now I'm not saying it's easy. Um, you know, the person to do this is going to become a billionaire. They're going to be like the next Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates. You know, name your pick. Uh, that's who they're going to be. It's not going to be easy. But this is where like the, the applications need to stand alone. Um, so again, yeah, the internet wasn't just a platform. All we have are, we, they keep building new blockchain platforms. We don't need a platform. To, in order for crypto to go to the moon, we need solid blockchain apps that stand alone. So what is it that developers don't understand? The thing that I don't think that these developers understand, a lot of them are very smart is when it comes to like, you know, programming and things like that. But I don't think that they have any sort of entrepreneurial ventures that they're trying to accomplish outside of blockchain technologies themselves. So they don't really know how to apply it. Um, you got to have a certain kind of mind to know how to apply things in an entrepreneurial manner. Um, you know, like Jeff Bezos looked at the internet and he's like, you know what, I can make the buying and selling of books way easier doing that. Now, obviously, Amazon does a lot more than that now, but he's the basically the richest man in America, I think. He might be richer than Bill Gates now, um, and it's all because he decided to use the internet to buy and sell books, okay? Um, again, I, I guess I don't know if I talked about this. I, this isn't my first cut of this uh, audio here, but uh, the... The industry that I really think is going to get revolutionized by blockchain technology, it's not uh, the Internet of Things, it's not supply chain technologies. Uh, I really think it's the arts. Now, obviously, uh, you know, I'm a writer. That's my number one thing. I make these YouTube videos just because I think it's interesting. Um, if I made more money writing, I wouldn't be doing this. It's really hard to make money as a writer. Um, so I'm obviously biased on this, just like I'm biased on everything I say. Everyone's biased on everything they say. But... Uh, I could use a blockchain application for some of the things that I'm building. Now, I already showed you guys this trading card game thing that I was working on. I want to show you more information on this sort of galaxy that I'm creating. Now, uh, I, like I said, I'm a writer, so this galaxy that I'm creating will mean absolutely jack shit if I can't sell the story. And I'm working on a 400-page script for, it's supposed to be like a cartoon story. You could even make it into like a comic book if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. But I'm working on that story right now. It takes a long time to write a story like that. It's not the only script I'm working on. Um, I've got other scripts, like movie scripts, thing like that, things like that. I just really like to write. I find it interesting just to create worlds and stuff. But if you look at this picture here, um, as far as this galaxy is concerned, there's like 40 planets in this galaxy. Now, if you count up the number of planets that I've got showing here, I don't even think I have 30. Now, uh, and some of these are, you know, like one of those, you can see it's uh, just pictures, like pictures of planets that I want to use later. Um, but, uh, so I haven't finished this uh, library, I guess you could call it, this library of planets, but each one of these planets I have here, it's got all the information on the planet. Um, that way I can go back and look for my story, but also, if you've ever been like a huge Star Wars fan like I was when I was little, they had things like Star Wars um, maps and almanacs and things where you could learn everything about the galaxy. So this could actually eventually become a product. Um, and so... But if you look at it, you know, how am I as a writer, if, if I want all these things to be illustrated and I've got some pictures here, like I just took these pictures from Google, so I can't use those. That's completely illegal. These are just pictures that would kind of work or, you know, give sort of a sense of the planet so I could show some artists at some point, like this is what I want created. Um, can you create it for me? And I'm going to walk through how we, you would do that with blockchain technologies and smart contracts. But if you look at this, like this is going to take me a long time. There's at least one page of text for each 
each one of these planets. Um, so again, I said I'm not even finished with this, but I, I do the same thing with the species of the planets. Um, each there's also like technologies like spacecraft. Um, each planet, uh, you know, if they if they're militaristic, their militaries fight with different styles. Like there's a lot of shit I've got going on in this, and it's gonna take me forever to finish. But if I could use a blockchain, I could finish it a lot quickly or a lot quicker. But to go into a little more detail before I show you how you would build a blockchain for this. Um, this is sort of the information I have on the planet. So it talks about, it's just basic information. Like you could throw this up again. Like if any of you were big fans of Star Wars, maybe you had a book that was like a Star Wars almanac book or a Star Wars galaxy book that would tell you about all the planets and stuff. This would just be um, different information on the planet. So this planet, it's named Bosfura. It's similar to like what Coruscant is in that it's a city planet. Uh, technically, those are called ecumenopolises, and I probably mispronounced that. But you know, there's all this uh, basic information on it you know and so this would be interesting to someone who was you know if you're like if you're a big star wars fan obviously you know you can find interest as a kid in learning about all the planets of star wars just because it sounds cool and stuff um again this isn't like this would be a major selling point uh the major selling point for this galaxy is the story itself but there's a lot of information here and again the reason why i'm showing you all this information is to show you like that i like it's going to take me years like years of my life to do this but if i used a blockchain with it I could cut that down like by a factor of 10 like I could instead of taking it you know it'd probably take me decades to finish this I could finish it in a few years with a blockchain if things worked out um, and again I'll show you how to do that but this picture here again you know this is just uh, so the information about Bosfura if you wanted to pause it and read it I'm sure you could I haven't actually read this through um, since I originally made this which was uh, like a year or so ago again like there's so much information here that from the time that I last write something about like you know whether it's a planet or a species or the technologies they use it can be over a year before I look at it again so I haven't read through this there's probably a few typos I don't really know but um going on uh there's not again there's not just planets there's species and if you look at the number of species here there's a lot more species than i have planets and most of these there are a couple planets that have multiple species but uh the reason why there's more species than planets is because i i'm not finished yet you know it's a prototype so if you look at all of these species again each one of these species i write down about the species most of them have they have like a, a historical background a religious background um, some of them have different military and, uh, or like military strategies and tactics um, like this picture here is a picture of the Apollonians um, they're kind of I guess you would say they're Germanic in nature uh, very like militaristic uh, really big badass dudes with long blonde hair um, you can read through, I guess, those few paragraphs right there. It won't really tell tell you all that much about it, but there's like a religious background for these guys that I write out. And I think I, these guys, those guys, the Apollonians, I really like them. So there's like two pages written on them that I have. But there's all this information for it. So how how do I take this prototype and use blockchain technologies in order to bring about um, an actual product? And again, if we want to go back to this trading card game again, like each one of these. Um, species like I've created a, a different trading card games and different board games where they would battle it out um, so I go through all the information on that um, so here's just a quick rundown of the, the card game here um, this is what like one of the characters for the Apollonians each one like the Apollonians have three warriors each species has three warriors this is the Apollonian heavy again that picture I just stole from Google so that's not actually what he would look like he's supposed to have a uh, pike instead of a sword um, but that's all the information like this is the information that would be on his character sheet um this is a picture of the his attack cards and again with these attack cards i need artwork done for these attack cards i can't do that like i physically can't do that so i have to find somebody for it um so again like if i'm trying to do that through modern methods and through modern roots uh i'm gonna have to pay hundreds of like i'm gonna have to get myself linked up with some sort of Hollywood studio or you know something like Disney somebody who's done something like this and it, we're gonna like it would take millions of dollars just to get you know um, I don't even know what you call it but the initial artwork um, just to have just an idea of what we're gonna try and create uh, and so why like why would I want to create you know spend all this money if I can do it with a blockchain without spending this money and going through this again beyond just the attack cards there's action cards for this uh, trading card game for the uh, board game anyways um, each one of the uh, action cards does different things 
um, then there's special cards for it too. So if you look at this and you look at how many species there were, uh, you know, and there's supposed to be three types of warriors for each species. Not all of them uh, in the picture I showed you are actually warrior type species, so not all of them would be included in the board game. But when you start calculating how much not only that I have to write, but how much artwork I'm going to need for this shit to get done, this is decades of work, okay? This is decades of work to get a prototype even finished. So how do I use a blockchain to create this? So I talked about this earlier, and what you do is you use what is called a blockchain anchor. Now, the anchor, I didn't really explain it all that well in the last video. The anchor, um, it has multiple parts to it. So the blockchain anchor, the anchor itself actually will have no value. Um, technically speaking, I might create a video later on. Uh, you can actually use blockchains to create decentralized servers, and those would actually be, like, those would, re would require a cryptocurrency where you would have your servers run just decentralized, and you would present... Uh, part of the block reward to the people who run the servers. I'm not going to talk about this he, that here because that gets really complicated. Um, we're just going to talk about how to use a blockchain anchor and smart contracts in order to create um, basically uh, new prototype uh, products in the artistic industries. And again, this is not just for writing. I'm showing you things that I'm writing and creating. Um, obviously, there's money to be made in writing through, you know, not just writing stories but through board games and things like that that i've created here but there's more money in the music industry there's more money in the uh you know video industry and the movie industry but they would all run in basically the same way so for this blockchain anchor this blockchain anchor it has crypto like it has a cryptocurrency but the cryptocurrency has no value no value whatsoever this cryptocurrency is used only for accounting purposes so again if you guys aren't familiar with what a blockchain is basically all blockchain is it's a list or a ledger that keeps track of itself so when we're talking about different products that you're trying to create if it's uh, digital and all these things like all these files I've showed you they're all they all can be represented digitally um, you can also represent them through a wallet address so like, like how would you do this and how would it all sort of link together so you would need wallet addresses for three different types of people, okay? Um, not necessarily people, but for three distinct categories. You would have three distinct categories of wallet addresses. The first wallet address, I'm going to call it a C wallet address, and it will represent creators. Now, you don't have to do it this way. This is just the way I'm doing it to show you guys, but you need these three uh, wallet categories. The first one is creators, and I'm having each wallet address start with C just so that you would know uh, you know, this is a wallet address that represents a creator. So this wallet address would go to someone like me. So if I were creating or trying to use a blockchain to create uh, basically my sci-fi galaxy, it's called the Infinity Galaxy. The name of the story is Infinity. Um, technically speaking, the name of the story, the first story is Infinity, uh, Twilight of the Second Age. Um, but uh, there's four ages in it. it like, it's, it's really long. Um, it's so the re again the reason I want a blockchain for this is because I'll never never finish it. But if I I would create a wallet address uh, and it would start out as C you know whatever it is it could be this wallet address here. But that would just say this is a creator's wallet address and this is a creator's wallet ad address for specifically for the uh, Infinity product. Okay, so I would have a wallet address that would specifically show my ownership. Uh, of this product so uh, basically the way you would do this is I would download all these files to some sort of website so it basically work like YouTube you download the files to the website and when I do this I cr also have a wallet address that shows that I am the owner of this um, product and now when when this wallet address would come up you would actually create one coin to go into this product why would you create one coin because this one coin would represent the ownership of the product now the creator wallet would be different than other wallets in that the creator wallet gives you access to create smart contracts uh, in order for workers to finish the work on your different products so uh, the next wallet address we're going to talk about is the work wallet addresses so the work wallet addresses would just be these things I showed you so again if we go back to these pictures here I would create a work wallet address for each one of these planets because this is work I need finished and then within this work wallet address that I would create for each one of these uploaded planets like if we you look at the, the planet Bosphira that I showed you earlier well for Bosphira I would be like okay 
I would create a wallet for Bosfura again, just like uh, for the creator's wallet. When you create a new wallet for work, there will be one coin put into this wallet, and that represents the ownership of the uh, work. So uh, because the, the only work has been done by me, I'm the original uploader of this, the one coin uh, would go into a work wallet under my control. Now, uh, again, the creator when, uh, the creator wallet would be a little bit different because when you have a creator wallet, you know, then all the work that you initially create under it, you're in control of that, so you'll have all the coins for the work wallets. But again, you know, these wallets, the coins don't actually have value, um, so it's not like, you know, this is some sort of pre-mine or something. But it just represents that you have ownership of these files. So what would I do with this work wallet? Well, for Bosphere, I need artwork created. So the type of artwork that I actually would want created is, you know, I would want you know one picture of basically what it looks like on the surface which is the picture shown here and then I'd want one picture showing the planet from space and then I could say something like okay I'm gonna make a smart contract that says uh, to someone who can create these illustrations um, and it would be a multi-sig contract but I would say to someone who can create these illustrations I'd be willing to give you 10 percent and I just made that number up I'd be giving be willing to give you 10% ownership of this work so then people would come to, to this uh, website where I downloaded uh, this work at and it would be potential artists who are looking for work to you know make money with and they if they liked my product and they're like you know what I think this guy could actually sell this thing at some point so I'm gonna actually do this work for free even and or you know he'll do it for free but he'll get a percentage ownership in the products that he does work on so maybe some some artist comes in, you know, draws a planet real quick for me and something real similar to this, and he's like, there's your, you know, there's your work, uh, and he would submit uh, his work to me. Now, uh, I could choose whether to accept or reject his work. Uh, the thing uh, that you have to remember, though, is when an artist creates work, uh, they would also, if we go back to our uh, slide here, um, they would become a creator, and when all the work they would create, they would have 100% ownership of their work. So uh, this artist who I would contract in order to get my work done, before he would upload his file to me, he would upload it uh, on his own page, and that would show that he is the owner of this file that he has created. And then uh, when he would send it to me, uh, if I decided to accept his work, uh, or, well, if I rejected his work, then he would still keep his file. You know, he would still keep his ownership in the work he had done. I would just say, I don't want it for my project. But if I would accept it, again, like I said before, in any one of these addresses, there is one coin, and this one coin represents ownership. And I said I would give him 10% ownership if I accept his artwork. So I would send him 0.1 coins from that work address to and then that would show through a blockchain again this blockchain all it a blockchain is it's a ledger that keeps track of itself so through the blockchain we would have proof that he is a 10% owner in that file in the work that is done on that blockchain okay so this is massive because this doesn't really exist in the world today like if you're an artist you cannot just you know there's no way to easily connect to and find work uh, online uh, but through the blockchain you could do this and again this isn't just for you know the plan that I'm talking about uh, this is also if we go ahead and look at these species each one of these species I need the same thing done for so I would upload stuff for all these species you see here and it would be the same thing for the species the species are a little different um, because obviously I don't need a picture of a planet to show these species it would just be I need artwork of the species you know their size different things like that uh, maybe them doing something that is uh, unique to the species whatever it is uh, and then if you go if you keep going further on or like I guess if we go into these Apollonians so like for the Apollonians I would want a different picture of the Apollonians um, and I would probably want them you know again I would want a picture of the Apollonians do like the Apollonians they're big into wrestling uh, why are they big into wrestling because I was a wrestler when I was younger uh, but uh, so maybe there's a picture of Apollonians wrestling and again this is all done through smart contracts so whoever I accept the work from there's a smart contract that will send them the percentage of coins that will represent their ownership in this file or in this project and why this is huge is because now uh, you you can very easily set up very complex legal agreements between people who have no idea you know the intricacies of 
different types of law for you know the artistic industries and you can do it through a blockchain so it's very easy to send you know point one or like you know a percentage of coins to somebody to represent the ownership and then they like the blockchain literally proves their ownership they don't have to have a wallet or they don't even have to have I mean, they'd have to prove that they are the owner of a wallet, like if they're a creator. So if, if I accepted work from an artist and gave him 10% ownership in some sort of work, like the blockchain will record that forever. All he has to prove is that the coins got sent to his wallet. Um, and as long as he can prove that the coins got sent to his wallet, then the blockchain from now until forever proves that he created that and he's got a 10% ownership stake in the product that I created. And so the, again, this going on, this goes even farther for, so like if we're talking about the trading card game this will make a little more sense um, because this is something you could see profit in this right here this first picture is what I need on a character sheet so this is the character the Apollonian heavy their uh, elite or the elite Apollonian warrior guild the guardians of the golden sun they use heavies as the first wave to break an enemy's line while protecting those behind him so the heavies are like the big badass tanks of the Apollonians um, and so for this character sheet, I would, you know, I'd want some sort of artwork showing the Apollonian heavy being a badass, and then you'd have that short description of what he is, and then it shows his stats, you know, how like how many or how does he draw? Um, it gets a little complicated. I'm not going to explain the rules to you here. Um, you know, he's got two attack phases, a range of two because he's got a long pike. Um, he, he's got a width of two. The characters can be different sizes. He's not really a fast character. Um, he's got a small jump, uh, and then it shows his weapon and armor and his health. I need all of this created for a character sheet. So again, for this, um, this one would require uh, a lot more artwork than the ones I showed you before. So maybe I would say, all right, so whoever can create the artwork and make this look cool, like this is the information I want, but if you could make this look cool and you could come up with some sort of format for it, you know, I'll give you a 40% stake or a 40% ownership in this uh, in this character sheet for the Apollonian Heavy. So again, if we go back to our sheet here, this what I'm showing you here would be work. It would be a work address for the Apollonian Heavy. So whenever I would upload this to this uh, blockchain application website, it would immediately create a work address for the Apollonian Heavy with one coin in it. And because I would give, I'd be willing to give 40% ownership to whoever would create the art or like the artwork for it there would be a smart contract a multi signature um it would be a multi signature contract or a multi signature um transaction that would say or smart contract that would say if you can create good artwork for this then uh, i will give you 40 percent stake ownership in it and it, you would want a multi-signature contract just because uh, you know if one person tried to scam the other in this system uh, again you had like this is a blockchain company that runs the blockchain application so they could act as an intermediary in disputes so multi-signatures would be used in this you know it would, it, would, it requires smart contracts but uh, again if he does complete this work then I would send 0.4 of this cryptocurrency, again, a cryptocurrency with no value, and I would send it to his user address. I guess I didn't really talk about the user address, but any sort of user, or it could be a creator address, I guess, uh, user and creator addresses. User address might be more for customers, so the artist would actually be a creator in his own right. So if an artist created the artwork for me, uh, he could create that artwork and then he would upload that to his own creator file uh, in order to just prove or like to be like or in order so that he has his own files in case I reject him now obviously he can't directly steal my product um, but he can keep his own artwork just as proof to like if somebody wants to hire him for something else they he can have his own gallery like this is the artwork I've already done the other thing too that's really great about a blockchain thing like this uh, you could actually do a smart contract where uh, I could say look I've got this board game I'm working on but if someone wants to you know take it and change it I'd be willing to let someone take it and change it for 50 or I don't know what you would say maybe say a 20% stake in the board game they create so maybe my board game maybe it totally sucks or there's some things about it that totally suck and somebody looks at it like there's potential here but he totally fucked it up I'd like to take that board game use the basic rules and just sort of switch around you know maybe the pictures the names and a couple of the stats on the uh, different characters and use it like that so I could actually create a smart contract that would say you can take uh, the format you know you can take the rules for my game you can take each character and just switch it up for your own 
game that you create for your or for your own board game I just want 20% ownership in that board game so again that would be another smart contract thing you could do through this um, but that's basically how it works so if you really want to create a blockchain application platform uh, one that'll really take off one that'll set itself apart this isn't being done whatsoever um, and it, the reason why it's not being done is again because everyone wants to create these cryptocurrencies that you can invest in and make huge money with but I really think the blockchain applications that take off are going to use blockchains that have zero value cryptocurrencies zero value but instead of having you know instead of their use being to uh, transfer value from one place to another I think what their use will actually be is representing uh, ownership of digital files so again I'm talking about different things that I'm writing different board games I'm creating you could do the exact same thing for the music in industry so let's say you're some sort of musician and you're great at writing songs but you're not really that great at playing you know your instrument and you're, you're a terrible singer so you could do the same thing that I talked about before where you know you might have a format that you want somebody else to copy but you know yours kinda sucks so like let's say you're you know you're a songwriter and you know you're not that good but you know your songs are solid so you upload your songs to a website and then again you use a creator wallet address that would uh, show that this is you the creator of this song then that would give you access to write smart contracts and these smart contracts would be really simple you know you could have them already pre-downloaded because all you would be doing again with these uh, smart contracts is giving ownership partial ownership to somebody else um, and so when you give the partial ownership to somebody else like let's say again you're a songwriter and your songs aren't that or your songs are really good but you're not that good of a musician so you could be like okay here's my song you can use it uh, for as your own song I just want you know let's say 15% of the sales that you make on it so again all this accounting that is done and all these sort of legal transactions and these sort of legal agreements they're all done through the blockchain but because they're done through the blockchain like the the thing about a blockchain is uh, you can trust a blockchain um, or like you can trust the blockchain that it's accurate just because of the nature of the way that a blockchain works so as long as the transaction showed up on the blockchain then you could use that as proof like oh hey I own 15 percent of this song like if you're a songwriter you maybe you wrote a song and somebody some big name picks it up like you know maybe you're a country songwriter and somebody like Kenny Chesney picks up the song and he tries to change it up a little bit and then sell it and then you would already have you know you'd be like I get 15 percent royalty on whatever he makes with it you know and that is massive these things don't exist the other thing that's great about this is that uh, in in the artists or like in the artistic artistic industries uh, sorry um, having a lot of trouble saying that but in the artistic industries what holds most people back is they cannot find people to work with you have to find people like directly there's no way to connect through the internet to create artistic um, products whether it's music whether it's you know uh, comic books whether it's board games but you could do it through the blockchain and the way you do it again through the blockchain is you just use smart contracts to sh uh, use smart contracts in order to show who will own what based on what they've created for the network okay or for the product so again in the case of the songwriter this, this songwriter could be in Taiwan who cares he could be somewhere halfway across the world he writes this song maybe he does really suck but there's something real good about the song and somebody who's actually a really good musician uh, recognizes the potential in what they have and maybe this musician lives in you know Hollywood so this musician could then take the song of this guy in Taiwan the really good musician could take the song of the songwriter in Taiwan fix it up turn it into something beautiful and then start selling it and then the guy in Taiwan can still get paid so he doesn't get screwed over and there's nothing like that that exists right now and you can do this all through blockchains and again the thing that's great about this is like it, all you need is uh, you, you don't need any real starting capital you know to do something like this all you need to do is create basically a website where you download the information to and then a blockchain that'll perform all the smart contracts for that now again there's a like that's not easy to do but this is what I mean when I say like we really need some good blockchain applications out there that stand alone again this isn't the only way you can build blockchain applications but everybody talks about the financials the, the uh, smart contracts as they rep or as they pertain to um, currency or manipulate manipulating currency payments and I don't really think that's where the big stuff in blockchain application lies I think the big stuff in block 
blockchain application it all lies in transforming already existing industries don't get me wrong there are new industries that it will create but the internet didn't become big because it created a bunch of new industries it just transformed old industries like again if we go back to the Amazon example it transformed the book buying experience for the user okay that's what we really need to do um, and if you're a developer you know hopefully you found this video helpful again I know I didn't I, I can't explain these things in perfect detail because they don't exist yet so there's only so much I can say about them but you know even if you're not a developer if you understood what I'm saying and you know maybe you know somebody who's a really good computer programmer who's trying to make it big and they know a lot about blockchain technologies send them here and I'm not saying send them here because like you know I'm gonna help create this I can't really help create this I could help guide somebody only because I have products that could use this I've been waiting on this for years I thought of this like I'm not the only person who's thought of this sort of idea this idea has been floating around for years sort of uh, it's never had a huge amount of hype behind it but I've read it other places as well and nobody's really going anywhere with this but if you look at the music industry you know that's a I'm assuming I don't know exactly how big it is tens if not hundreds of billions of dollars so is the uh, um, movie industry so is the writing industry they're all massive and they could all completely be overhauled and redone by blockchain applications so anyways I, I know this video went on for quite a while um, I hope this made sense to anyone who listened to the whole thing um, anyone who's actually a developer you know if you can get on this shit you got a lot of money that you can make again it's not gonna be easy but this is something that nobody's really developing right now um, and I just think that's a shame but anyways there's gonna be more videos coming out in the future so stay tuned for those